Hey, thank you for checking out the how to use the import feature of Replen dashboard uh, onboarding video. Really excited to show you this feature because you can do a lot of cool things which can actually speed up your time in using the software, which uh, time is extremely important. That's why we created the, the software in the first place. So we tried to uh, incorporate some things to, to make it much easier to import things like your cost, your supplier, store sections, a whole bunch of different options. And uh, so I wanted to create this video to show you how to do that. Now you do have an option of, of manually adjusting these things. So if you wanted to adjust your cost, for instance, since on this product from 2666, you could make it 27 or not 278, but 2799. Uh, you can change that there. Uh, you can also change the supplier from right now it's NA because we have an uploaded one to, I don't know, just regional store, right? Uh, and you can update that and it will uh, keep that information for you. Um, and you can immediately search by what your supplier is. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now, if, uh, if you're like most users, you're using some sort of inventory lab type uh, program to help you manage your inventory to create shipments, whether it's inventory lab or it's scan power or boxed or something else. Or if you're not using a software program to help you with that, you most likely have a spreadsheet with uh, your SKUs or your ASINs on there, uh, as well as the cost information and supplier information there. Now, I did create an inventory lab uh, export inventory instructions sheet. So you can see this here. If you want to pause the video, uh, you can to, to follow these instructions. But essentially, you log into inventory lab, uh, click inventory FBA or inventory FBM if you're trying to do your fulfilled by merchant and inventory. Then you can click export in the upper right corner. Typically, it makes you click OK to download that file as that generic name. And then you can go to Replan Dashboard, click import, uh, which I'll show you in a section or in a second. Uh, select the file that was downloaded, the MSKU, the active cost, the active supplier. Click upload. Wait a few minutes. You should receive an email when completed from us. Now, sometimes it can take longer than a few minutes, and sometimes it's very quick. It just depends on the size of your inventory. But most uh, software programs will have something like this uh, to be able to get all of your inventory information to be able to upload the costs and suppliers into Replen Dashboard. So what you'll do here is you'll click Import. You'll click to Upload. And now I've got a, uh, a demo one that we have created. So let me get into that. And now the file does have to be a CSV file. So whenever you download from Inventory Lab, it creates a CSV file for you. But if you're using something else like an Excel sheet or a Google sheet, just make sure to download that or save it as a CSV so that we can read the file. Now, the one required piece of information to be able to do this is by your seller SKU, right? We can't go by ASIN because sometimes people have uh, different SKUs for that ASIN, whether it's a merchant fulfilled and an FBA listing, whatever it might be. So we have to go by seller SKU. And in this case, my file has these, um, let's look at six different options. So I'll click seller SKU there. Sometimes it might pull up with inventory lab as M SKU or merchant SKU. Um, I'm going to upload my cost price as well as my supplier, and then I'll even do store section. Now, uh, purchase link is something that if you are doing online arbitrage and you've got a, an Excel sheet with all of your different purchase links so that you can just rebuy and click the button and rebuy from that website, you can actually import all of those as well if you want to, or you can manually put those in there. So as you're doing online arbitrage, it makes it way quicker to, to actually repurchase those items. I'm going to click finish uploading. And it'll take a little bit here. It's importing that now. It will be updated shortly. After a few minutes, it should update. Uh, and again, depending on how much information you have in your uh, actual inventory, uh, it might take a little bit longer than normal, but you should receive an email from us letting you know whenever it's completed. Uh, and I'm gonna click around and see if it actually has updated. Let's see. Yep, it just updated all these things. So you can see the store section popped up which again, this is all fake data. You know, I've got it a regional store um, as one of the stores. Uh, and then it also updated all the cost information. Now this is the buy link that would have updated if you had put in those online arbitrage links as well. And it would automatically um, open up the 
the store for you to purchase those products from as well. But yeah, so it updated all this information, which is awesome. You can see it's on every product. It was a really qu quick process. Um, you know, if you don't uh, check your email, you can just click around, it'll probably pop up and populate really quickly for you. Uh, and so you can do the searches by, you know, regional store uh, or whatever the name of your suppliers are. Petco, right? I've got that in there. You can even so, uh, sort it by uh, a supplier name if you want to. Um, alphabetically, but that is up to you. So yeah, just wanted to show you how to use the import feature of Refund Dashboard. Thank you so much for being a customer and uh, supporting Refund Dashboard. We're excited for the changes that we continue to come out with and make and how we can help you to manage your inventory much better for your arbitrage and wholesale business. Thank you. Have a great day.